Hi, I'm Andrea Fasano here for LI News Today, coming to you from our studios in Old Westbury, New York. Today we're discussing things that piss me off. You ready for this? Young Jesus. It's another week of what pisses me off. I'm T. My name is Stuart, like always. And we got a good weekend. And we got a good show in front of you. First, of, first up, people who think they're funny but not. I know a lot of people who think they're funny. They try to pull jokes, practical, practical pranks, this and that, and they're telling you they're not funny. They think they are, so like they'll try to get a rouse out of you by pulling stupid things. They're not funny. You probably know people like that too. Take a look at this. Fucking cool, I'm in the middle of my shit. Hey, fuck you, he paid to be here just like the rest of us. Well, first of all, shut the fuck up, fucking hoss. <laughs> what? Oh. Don't fucking come up here. No, 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 bro, what the fuck? Dude, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. I know, but he was fucking talking during my show. Well, you know what? That's fucking how it is. Sometimes people gotta shut the fuck up. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Second on the list, retired athletes who try to take our broadcasting jobs, okay? Oh, man. Listen, you have so much money that the NFL, NBA, they all pay you to retire, you know? You get your severance package, you probably made like. Let's say you made like 20 million a year. I'm sure you're, you're, you're still making like a couple million just by do, getting endorsements with Nike and stuff. We actually go to school for this though, for broadcasting. So I'm saying, skill. we're paying, we we're paying thirty thousand dollars to go to school to get to hopefully get a good job in broadcasting, and then you get these like these fools that think they can broadcast because they have nothing better to do and they know the game. I have nothing more to say. Take a look at this. He's the number one rated quarterback, and there's a good reason why. I talked to my man Terrell Buckley last week in Miami. He was on a bye week, by the way, playing golf. He told me that defense is blocked. Uh, <coughs> Another thing that pisses me off is some of communications major. <laughs> TV shows that has too many spinoffs. Like, all right now, you know, spinoff is good. But after a while, it's corny. Like the character is corny. It's just, it's just too much. They play this one up too much. Especially when you have actors that are hired to do these one lines before a show opens, and they're just it's corny. Like, it's stupid. Take us, take a look at this. Drive by, Miami star. Yeah. I don't think so. If you don't spend a thousand dollars on clothes. That you're never gonna wear. A hundred people throwing golf balls at the sight of a death. Those odds are very slim, aren't they? So the question becomes, Alex, was the mob sent to draw us to the crime scene? Or sent to destroy it? We only had one week before deliberations. No need now. The verdict is in. Uh, I have <laughs> You know what's next on the list? Professors that come to class stoned. Oh, oh man. They don't. I'd rather they don't. <laughs> I'd rather they just not show up. They'll talk to you, they'll be like, yo, I need to mess It's like, what are you doing, man? We can't come to class stoned. I don't know, why can they go to class? Teach us a class where they know nothing about the doctor because they're just higher than mine. Pisses me off. Take a look at this. <laughs> Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere on the 18th of April in 75. Hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. Well, it's a pretty good bet. Ain't nobody alive, right? <laughs> anyway, the English invented the longbow, all right? Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that guy? The professor was drunk. Well, the last one up for today is, uh, <laughs> man, I know everybody has seen one of these. When people go on live television drunk, especially like the awards, and like, 
What can I say? I mean, if you you drunk, then you can't perform. Everybody's gonna be looking at you. Either you're gonna be real funny or make an ass out of yourself. And also, like, if you're you're a celebrity, you're somebody looks up to you in this world because you're a celebrity. And people yeah. want to be you. So if you're gonna be on television, like drunk, the kind of sets a bad example. Like this one. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> only reversed. The wrong way around. He just had a baby. Tom. Yes, Tom. He was there for it when it was born. He should have been there when it was conceived, but half the battle was gone. <laughs> oh, grow up, Australia. John, I must... Every, call me Miss Rivers, like you do in the United States. Miss Rivers, I must say on behalf of everybody here and everybody in Lebanon. They don't know who the shit I am. It is, I don't know why. It is a great honor to have an absolute icon. I why the f I'm here? I don't... <laughs> Did you see that? Oh man, he's drunk. <laughs> that lady was drunk. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's been another week of what pisses me off. I'm T. I'm T. Take it easy, guys. Alright? Peace. Oh, seven, yeah, the same color, hypnotic.